Yo, what's going on, guys? It's Houston Sports Talk back in the video today. And Dylan Brooks is shocking everyone in the NBA right now. Dylan Brooks, who uh, the Rockets and Dylan Brooks got completely clowned this offseason for you know, the Rockets giving him $25 million a year or $20 million a year, whatever it was. I think it was a four-year, $80 million deal, um, which is $20 million a year. And But there was some... Uh, there was some additional money in that contract as well. But so far, I'm not going to, you know, I know it's only six games in, but Dylan Brooks is, I, I would say with what he's bringing to this Rockets team right now, he's playing like he's a $20 million, $20 million a year player right now. Um, and right now he's averaging 16 points per game, five rebounds per game, over two assists per game for the Houston Rockets. His field goal percentage is 59%, and his 59.3%, uh, and his three-point percentage is 56.5%, 56.5%, which was which is the sixth best in the NBA. Um, he's playing great basketball right now, and his points per game average went down just a little bit because of I'm, I wouldn't say a rough performance against the against the um, against the uh, the Sacramento Kings on Monday, the Rockets won one twenty two to ninety seven. It wasn't a rough performance. It's just minutes went down. The Rockets blew the Kings out at one point. I was at the game. They were up forty in the fourth quarter. They were up what twenty five at halftime. They won the game by twenty five. He only played twenty eight minutes and he only took six shots and shot three for six. So he still managed to shoot. 50% from the floor and 33% from three shot one for three from the outside and finished with nine points and six rebounds with one assist. Keep in mind that was only in 28 minutes in the four in the five previous games with the Houston Rockets, uh, the four, sorry, in the four previous games of the Rockets, he played 39 minutes against the Spurs, 34 against the Warriors, 38 against the Hornets and 38 against the Kings. Uh, so if he would have played the amount of minutes, you know, against the Kings on Monday, as he's been getting in the past, I don't think he probably would end up finishing with fifteen and nine, maybe sixteen and ten for the Houston Rockets um, on Monday. And he was also not—he was also being a very selfless basketball player on Monday. Other guys were taking more shots than him. It was that kind of night where, um, you know, Dylan Brooks was giving up shots to, you know give other guys shots. Fred Van Vliet took a lot of shots for the Rockets. So did Jalen Green and Al Prince and Gunnar Jabari Smith Jr. All those guys took more shots than the Rockets. All those guys are starters for the Houston Rockets. So, um, yeah, he was just playing selfless basketball. But Dylan Brooks, it's, you know, you talk about what he's doing offensively, but he's also bringing a huge impact to this team defensively as well. Also forgot to mention he's shooting 94%, 94% at the free throw line. Um, but right now he's averaging over a steal per game, 1.3 steals per game. And against the Hornets on Wednesday, November 1st, he had a career high in steals with five steals. He's bringing a great impact for this Houston Rockets defense. And I also want to let everybody know the Houston Rockets are 13th in defense right now, in defensive stats, um, with everything they're doing on defense. And that's also with one of their best defenders, Tari Eason, out, which Tari Eason's going to make his uh, season debut tonight against the Los Angeles Lakers. So, uh, with Tari Eason been you know being out and was the best defender on the Houston Rockets last year. I know the Rockets weren't good last year, but they had some good defenders on their team last year. They weren't too bad defensively. They were not great, but they had some solid defenders last season. Tari Eason is an elite defender and is uh, that's a very underrated part of his game. And the Rockets are getting him back tonight. And imagine what this defense will be. If this, if this defense is top 15 right now in the NBA without Tar Eason, imagine what it's going to be like once Tar Eason is back with the Houston Rockets. And uh, I can't wait to see what you know this team does once he's back. But as of for Dylan Brooks, he's doing a great job on the defensive end for the Houston Rockets as well. Uh, he's shooting the ball lights out 56.5%. And as of right now, in my opinion, I know it's only six games in, but he has been worth all the money right now because he's bringing a winning impact to this team as well. He really has. He's done it all for this Houston Rockets team. It's not like it's it's not like he's been the best player on this team. I mean, you could argue that he's been this best player, their best player. I mean, Jalen and Fred and 
uh, Sengun are doing a lot. Right now, Sengun has definitely been the Rockets' best player. Uh, then you can argue Jalen or Fred has been the second best player on the Rockets. But I think when it comes to the impact that a player has done on throughout the whole roster, the best impact to the team has been Dylan Brooks. Um, and I just love what he's bringing to this team. And he's bringing energy. He's bringing great defense. He's bringing great shooting. I know it was a rough shooting night for him. You know, I mean, you can't really call a one for three shooting night a rough shooting night. It's more like I just didn't shoot the ball um what like i've been doing in the past so um i think it's going to continue to i think he's going to continue to play good basketball and continue to bring great impact to this team but let's take it one game at a time that's the video because enjoy them your thoughts and peace out go rockets